Okay, my next step is to machine this uh, pocket. But before I start machining of the pocket, I will make dr uh, I will drill holes in these corners. Okay, so what I'm going to do is deselect toolpath visibility. I don't need it now, and I will double click on one of these uh, cylinder sectors. Okay, you can see that Sprutcam has selected all similar uh, elements on the model. So before doing this, you need to make sure that you have the mod model visibility turned on uh, here on the right. And here we, we have object filters. You need to turn on object filter, which allows to select the surfaces. So it's turned on and it is turned on now. Okay, so and I double click on the surface and I have selected all the surfaces I'm going to machine now. Uh, one more thing, I need to deselect those surfaces because they also have uh, the same diameter and, uh, and Sprutcam uh, has selected them because they are similar, so I don't need those surfaces, I just hold Ctrl and deselect them. Okay, like this. So now I have... I have my surfaces I'm going to machine select, uh, selected and I go to new uh, hole machine finishing or uh, roughing hole machining. Okay, so now Sprutcam is asking me which tool I'm going to use uh, because he has several options and I'm going to use this uh, 5.8 millimeters uh, drill for these holes which I have prepared earlier. Okay, and uh, one more thing, I'm going to change drilling type from simple drilling to uh, chip breaking drilling. I will not touch the parameters of this cycle, so it is okay for me, I just press press run. Okay, that's it. So what is important that we can see that uh, the machining result has stock which is left here from the surface uh, as I wanted, because the drill is 5.8 millimeters and the uh, diameter of this um, uh, of this hole, not hole, but cylinder is 6 millimeters. So uh, this stock is left for finished machining, so this is what I want. So okay, now we are ready uh, for the next operation, which will be roughing waterline uh, for this pocket.